Hi everyone, this is Archangeli. First of all, I want to apologize for the mess on my desk. I'm in the middle of, a work, of working on a project right now. And if you hear any weird noise in the background, it's my kitten. She's running around and she's super excited because I'm awake and she wants to play. Anyway, today I want to talk to you a little bit about third party hands and feet options for Dolphy Dreams. Um, now when you buy a new Dolphy Dream, the only option for feet actually right now are the flat feet that come from Volks, uh, whether you're getting the DD2, DD3, or the Dolphy Dream sister bodies. So let's talk about these ones in the back first because they're the most straightforward. If I can get this to zoom. These are the ballet feet that are made by a Taiwanese company called Peapod Doll. I'll do a little research and update the links in the bottom but I'm actually not sure if these are manufactured anymore. I'm having some trouble trying to find their website. Um, I found their Etsy page and it seems to have clothing, but it doesn't list the feet anymore. So what this is, is a resin ankle joint, which slides into the DD2 or the DD3 armature. And the foot part is actually vinyl. Now here's a Dolphy Dream normal skin hand and in this horrible indoor lighting. You can see that the foot is almost like a more greenish yellow color compared to the hand, which is more pink. If you're going outdoors in natural light, it's not as noticeable. And I'll, uh, I'll take a shot later in my bathroom with that, which has more natural white light. And you'll see that the color difference isn't as weird, <clears throat> I guess is the only way to describe it. But this is a beautifully sculpted foot. Like look at the toes. The detail on this is really, really nice. And it comes with uh, this vinyl toe cap that slides over the toes. So if you're putting on a ballet shoe, um, it protects the toes from getting damaged. Um, but the whole point of getting the feet is to, to showcase the toes, right? It's really, really cute. Um, these ones here, which definitely are available, are from a Japanese fellow called Warsazi. And I actually got these off of Taobao just because it was simpler, And the but the only color that was available at the moment is the semi-white skin. Um, these are high-heeled feet. Beautifully sculpted again. Let's zoom in on the toes. Doesn't want to zoom. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. Really, really cute. Um, so this has an articulated ankle joint, and this again slides into the DD2 or the DD3 armature. Um, it's nice that there is the articulation, and I think this entire thing is done in resin. Uh, here's a semi-white skin hand if you just want to compare. The color match is pretty darn good, and I'll take a shot in my bathroom again later in better lighting, just so you can compare. But yeah, the color match on the resin to this hand is pretty good. Um, I have a Volks high heeled Geta here. Um, it's one of the reasons I bought these feet. And I haven't done this before. This is the first time trying this shoe uh, with this foot. So I hope this fits or it else it'll be kind of embarrassing. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of a gap at the heel. So it's not a perfect fit. That's kind of a bummer. Um, <clears throat> I tried a different shoe from a different manufacturer and I noticed that this foot was a little bit smaller than the shoe, but that's an easy thing to remedy. You can uh, stuff the toe box of the shoe with a little bit of tissue and that would push the foot back and then it would fit a little better. My cat's having dinner, sorry guys. Um, anyway, these are the high-heeled feet. Really, really pretty. And next, let's talk about these funny little doodads. So these are also by Warsazi. And what it is, it's a wrist joint, sorry, that pivots and swivels. So like you're not, your wrist does, sorry. Um, that's what this joint does, except it does it 360, which your wrist joint doesn't. <laughs> um, with a regular Dolphy Dream hand, you can only bend forwards and backwards. There's no other points of articulation. 
Um, so I was really curious to try these after one of my buddies in Hong Kong showed them to me. Um, again, these are the semi, semi white skin color. It was all that was available right now uh, when I went to buy them on Taobao. And if you compare these to the hand, the color match of the vinyl to this piece, which is done in resin, pretty good. This is a little more pink, but if you compare it to the armature, um, it's pretty darn close actually. So what I've done, I've already dismantled this armature, but I'll show you how it's done because it's really, really simple. I'm pretty inept with most things, so it was pretty easy even for me to do. So just remove the hand and just give it a squeeze and the hand should come out pretty easily. There you go. Give it a wiggle. So the hand comes off. Um, here's just a random tip since I have the armature out. You see how this, there's a flat side and a curved side to the armature? When you're putting this into a hand, Volk says it's supposed to go curve side up. I didn't know this until about a year ago, so I'm telling you guys as well, because <laughs> you might not know this. Curve side up. There you go. Anyway, when you look at this wrist joint, you know, let me try to zoom and focus. See here there's a gap. What you want to do is uh, turn the peg down and, whoops, sorry. Kind of wiggle, see? That just came out right there. And so this hook detaches from the wrist piece really easily. Then you take this piece that you just got from Versace, slide that in place, and then insert it into your hand. The fit is a little bit loose, and so he actually inclu included, um, let me pull that out, a tiny bit of sticky tack or putty um, and no direction so I had to figure this out on my own but the putty is just I guess if you need to uh, help tack the hand on but now check this out guys I can turn the hand like a regular human hand now if you own the smart doll by Danny Chu her hands can already do this <laughs> but for Dolphy dream owners this is a pretty cool little gadget um, I think these wrist joints were about $25 or $30, something like that. So they're not cheap, but because the wrist joints are so easy to interchange, you could just have one set of these in either a normal skin or semi-white skin and just swap them between your dolls if you're doing photo shoots. Um, these are definitely cool and I really, really like them. Um, if Warsazi restocks the normal skin, I definitely want to pick up a, a couple more of these. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So I totally forgot that I was supposed to take these shots in my bathroom. So here we are. Sorry about the uh, the light glare. I kind of can't do very much about that. So here's the Peapod feet first next to the normal skin Dolphy Dream hand. You can see it's still a little off. The color matches still a little bit off but in a white light or a daylight, it doesn't look nearly as green as it did upstairs in my living room. Um, here are the Versace semi-white skin um, high-heeled feet. So this is a semi-white hand. And you can see that the foot is a little more pink than the semi-white hand, but it's still really close. Um, Here's the Warsazi wrist joint with a semi-white hand. And just for comparison, here it is on a white skin hand. You can tell it really doesn't match the white skin, but the semi-white is pretty close. And this is the original uh, plastic wrist piece from Volks. If you just want to compare um, the resin to the plastic, it's really, really close. Um, if you wanted to buy the semi-white and try to pair it with the normal skin, you can, you can tell it's way too light. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.